In this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, set up and connect your Swan Wi-Fi pan and tilt security camera to your Wi-Fi network. So uh, when you first plug in the power cables, there is a voice assistant will um, uh, give out a voice prompt showing you what to do and telling you what to do. So simply uh, allow the camera to uh, first initialize. It will spin around. It will move the camera up and down. And connect to your camera's Wi-Fi, which yeah. has a name beginning with Swan. Now first, you can uh, go to your Apple device, such as an iPad. Here, I've got an iPad. Or you can go to your phone. Your so on the smartphone, so I'm just going to increase the brightness. And Swan. go to the App Stores. In App Store, you want to download App Safe. So put in the word Always Safe, and then Please open install the Always Wi-Fi Safe app, and then open it. On your and to your now, Wi-Fi, before you can do anything, you need to connect your Wi-Fi to the camera. So go to Settings. So tap on Settings, and then from here, you can see currently it connected my Wi-Fi network. We want to connect it as one Wi-Fi. So tap on that, and then we wait for the camera. So it's now connecting. Open the Always Safe app and wait for the Swan camera to be detected. So then say, follow the on-screen instructions so to install So say open the camera. Always Safe app. So we open it. Now you can see here it's a open the Always network Safe app and available. Wait for the Swan Please check the network. So that should then detect. The on-screen instructions that should detect it straight away. Camera. But if you have uh, problems. What we can do is go into settings and then go back to our normal Wi Fi. Open the always safe app. Then we we'll go back to the swan. It appears like there's a glitch when you first set up. Your and it has an issue again. So at this point, we can try to close the app. If you get that issues, close the app and then we try to open again. So I still say network available. We can try to tap on the plus icon here and then say we'd like to access the camera tap on ok and then i'll try to use this the qr code and see what happens because it's supposed to connect to the camera wi-fi so say so connection fail please check your phone network at this point you can see it shows the wi-fi icon connect to wi-fi so we can go back now and then tap on next button so there's some kind of like a glitch or you have to wait for a while before the Wi-Fi connection will establish. So tap on next. And at this point here we can choose our current Wi-Fi network which is your home Wi-Fi network. And we put in your home Wi-Fi password. And I'll put in my home Wi-Fi password and I will tap on the OK button. And this will set the camera to connect to the to our home Wi-Fi network and then we tap on the next button at the bottom here connecting to your Wi-Fi so it's please connecting wait. to the Wi-Fi so say please wait you should hear it say Wi-Fi connection succeeded so the light is flashing at the moment you can see So we wait Wi-Fi for connection succeeded. Follow the on-screen instructions to continue. Now we can tap on the next button. And tap on yes. Then tap on next. So it's a connecting to camera. Now we can uh, name Wi-Fi the camera. Wi-Fi connection succeeded. Follow the on-screen instructions so to continue. I will name the camera as living room. And then you can set the password as well. So I set the password one. To, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wi Fi connection succeeded. Follow tap the two, on three, four, instructions five, six, to seven, eight, and then tap on return, tap on next. So it's creating a password. And then you can, as this point is done, and you can tap on start live view. And tapping on the start live view will allow you to access the camera uh, immediately. And you can see here it's uh, loading the stream, it's uh, connecting. So there it is. And once you're in here, you can uh, uh, browse around uh, using the functions such as uh, talk. Talk allows you to communicate with the camera. 
you can use the PTZ which uh, allow you to move the camera around so by using the joysticks you can uh, move the camera around like so here we can move the camera around and you can close it so there are some other functions at the top here you can uh, take a photos, record um, videos and you can change the colors you can also choose whether it's fluent or cleared you can also go into full mode there it is, that's in uh, full view mode now what we can also do is go back here and then we go back so we close this one and from here tap on the settings icon within this uh, settings icon this will allow you to um, go and further customize the settings so I tap on that so it's an uninitialized device so we just have to wait look like the device has been uh, disconnected so I'll just tap on later it says do you want to synchronize this phone time I'll just do it later and I'll click on finished and now I'll tap on the settings icon again so now it's um, basically this is the device settings page in here you can uh, change the device name we connect to a Wi-Fi network get the IP address and there's videos and audio storage uh, one of the major part is the notifications in here you can go into email settings in email settings you can uh, set up your own uh, email so you can uh, set up the SMTP uh, email address and password Put in my email address, then the password. We put in the password here. So, so after putting the password, we can uh, uh, go down and put in the recipient name or the recipient email address. So again, I will use the same email address. And so that's the email address to, uh, to receive the notifications. Then down here, attachment, you can choose uh, what type of attach attachment to, uh, to use to attach pictures, attach picture and text or attach video. So you can choose. And that's it. So we can also set the email interval. So when should the, the app will send out the email notification. You can also tap on the email test button to uh, test the e out the email. So at the moment here it says email test failed. So better check uh, with your password. So sometimes putting in the wrong password uh, can cause an issue. So it's so email testing again. So I have to tap on the save button first before I can send out an email test. So make sure you do that. Test, tap on the save button and then send out email test. And once you do that, then uh, it should work. So here is my email test. So it's come true. So there it is. So that's how you can uh, set up your one camera, security camera to connect to Wi-Fi. So that's how is the two basics um, setup you, that you really need to set up uh, email notifications and connecting your Wi-Fi um, camera to the Wi-Fi router. And after that, you can go in here and you can set up a lot of other things. There are lots of lots of things that you can do uh, within this app. So you can uh, go through and play around uh, with the settings. But uh, to get you started, that uh, the two important is to connect the camera to Wi-Fi and set up your email notifications. And that's it. So tap on that to uh, view the camera. So there it is. So we can zoom it up. It's getting dark at the moment. So. 
And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it has helped you out. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.